Welcome to a short training video designed to introduce you to the different tools and features found in Google Earth. These training videos are designed to assist you in creating and presenting your information to others in a geographic context. This video is part two in a series where you'll be learning to create folders to contain and organize all the information within your project. There are a couple of different ways to add folders to your project. The first is to use the drop down menus at the top of the screen where you can select Add and Folder. You can also add folders directly to the My Places window by right-clicking within the window and selecting Add and Folder. With either method, a dialog box will appear allowing you to name the folder and provide any descriptive data that you wish to include. This dialog box is also the area where you can use HTML tags to format your pop-up balloons to include links, text format, pictures, and videos. For this tutorial, I'll go ahead and name this folder Utah Hiking and add some descriptive data informing viewers of the project that this is a sample project. I'll also include a couple of HTML tags just to show you how the dialog box can be presented. If you're interested in learning more about these and other HTML tags, there are many websites with this type of information available to you by doing a quick Google search for HTML tags. You can also change the view of this folder by using the navigation tools mentioned in the earlier tutorial video to open the same area on the map each time the folder is accessed. I'm going to navigate to a view that shows the entire extent of my project, which for this tutorial will be from the trailhead parking to the southern end of the lower Bells Canyon Reservoir. Once I'm satisfied with the view, I'll go ahead and select the View tab within the dialog box and select Snapshot Current View. This process will lock and navigate to this view each time the folder is selected. Once I'm satisfied with the extent, I'll select OK and the folder is ready for me to begin adding features and information to. By following these steps, you can create as many folders for your project as you like. Anytime you need to go back and revise the information, or change the snapshot, simply right-click on the folder and select Get Info if you're running a Mac, or Properties if you're running a PC. This concludes Part 2 of this series. To learn about additional features and functions, and how to apply them within Google Earth, please refer to the additional tutorial videos found in this series. Thank you for viewing this podcast and for your interest in Google Earth.